What's up everyone, my name is High Blaster and welcome back to another video. Yes, yes, the new update is out in Anime Defenders and now, right now, we're gonna check it out. The update dropped like a um, few minutes ago, so we're gonna like look through everything. So Anime Defenders update for part 1 is, is now live. So now we have in the Hall of Mirrors rework, so finally the 5.7 years thing is gone. I think you just need months now. It makes it better, to be honest. And the game duration is reduced to 20 minutes, though the wish drop rates got improved. Now you can get wish, wish that that thing, that thing, that expensive thing that you have to buy in the in the trade hub. Now you, you cannot buy that. You know that you cannot buy it. It's it's as you can see, it's no longer tradable. And normal 5%, hard 8% and 15% in Nightmare. That's a W because a lot of people, they cannot do even hard mode, including me. Yes, I know I'm a noob. And yeah, even if you want to do it in normal mode, you have like a 5% chance. Before it was like 2% in Nightmare, which is like absurd. Now you have the wishes drop more frequently. It can be earned in the new free to play battle pass now what is the free to play battle pass if you come to the game and if you see in the season one battle pass oh we have a free and we have a premium now to buy the premium you need like uh, 6.99 robux so yeah i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do that and as you can see you get like wish and this is like a divine wish now you're gonna ask me what's a divine wish well if you actually go here you're gonna see in the exclusive wish you have either a divine wish or a wish. Now the divine wish, they are actually bought from Robux. And the people who have actually bought a wish in the last update, they're gonna be compensated with a divine wish. So yeah, if you're one of those guys, just check your inventory, you got like divine wish from the developers now, okay? Next up, the new battle pass. We know about the new battle pass. We have no mini luck potions, which are free. Now you don't have to like pay Robux to get the lux. You can just get the mini luck potion. We have new mythic and the battle pass unit. Let's check it out. The new mythic. It's at the last and we have a princess sword master. And if you buy the premium one, you get the princess sword master shiny. It's 100% you can get it. And I'm pretty sure I just saw something back here when I was like talking to you guys. Yeah, here. The Princess Swordmaster normal one, you can get it by premium. And the shiny one, you will also get it in premium. But in the free one, you cannot get the shiny one. And Divine Wish, you can actually get it for free. So this game is not pay to win anymore. It's like free to play. The developers are working very hard. So W to the developers because this game is big. We have new spirits now. We, they have added 16 spirits. So what is a spirit? If you go to the summoning section, as you can see, there are like spirits here. If you click on it, you can see you'll have spirits and summon a spirit. Now, a spirit is like a trait, I believe. And once your unit, one of your unit has a spirit on it, it is not tradable. You cannot trade it. So that makes it like free to play. You have 16 spirits. It gives you buffs and passives to the unit. That's a huge W. I'm pretty sure there's like a big big buff to you know like your damage units like your secrets or everything even the farm units must have been getting some spirits i'll make a video on the spirits once i get all the data about it for now i just know spirited units cannot get traded without removing the spirit so yeah you cannot make gems out of it new season we have a new leaderboard season we have new leaderboard rewards and i have no clue what the rewards are so i'm just gonna go here and i'm gonna check it out darkness prince so that is it darkness prince you're gonna get a shiny darkness prince or something it's a secret and also oh my <laughs> divine wish 50 50 if you're in top 10 if you are one of these guys and if you are like at the season end you're gonna get 50 divine wishes that's like OP next thing is the tower of eternity oh no way 
oh you get spirit orbs now and the gem so like this is a huge thing the tower of eternity got reset so yeah if you were like struggling on floor 148 or something i was i was struggling on um, floor 110 111 so now i can actually get more gems out of it so i'm really happy the last thing is the miscellaneous added giftable now if your friend is broke and if you are rich unfortunately then you have to buy your friend uh, a battle pass okay like he he deserves it the game pass he deserves it and yeah the minor buffs and nerfs and we have new codes we have dragon part 1 and divine spirit so i'm just going to put it in front of you to see what it does we got 1000 gems and we got 500 gems so yeah we got 1500 gems this is reminder this is only part 1 and part 2 is set to be released around 22nd july so that's like a week from now yeah uh happy playing guys and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out